Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini. I'm a diagnostic radiologist, subspecializing in interventional radiology in New York City. On today's video, we are going to be talking about another medical stock, specifically a company that is very involved in the interventional radiology space, which is MySpace, and goes by the name of Inari, ticker symbol N-A-R-I. And as an interventional radiologist, I feel like I have a unique perspective on this company, especially since I have used their device on many occasions. So before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do a deep dive on Inari and make sure you stay till the end to see if I'm going to be investing in this stock. Let's go. So as usual, before we start this video, I have to give a quick disclaimer and state that I am a physician and I am in no way, shape or form giving you financial advice. What you do with your money is your decision and yours alone. Do not listen to anything I say. <laughs> I hope I make myself clear. Please take everything I say and everybody else on YouTube with a grain of salt. Now let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to break this video down the same way I did my past video on Nanox, link up here. First, we're gonna talk about what is Inari. Second, we're gonna talk about what products or services they offer. Third, we're gonna talk about what I think of the company. And fourth, we're gonna talk about will I invest in the company? So let's first start off with what is Inari? I'm gonna go over here. So let's start off the first section here. What is Inari? We'll go ahead and pull up their website, inarimedical.com. Right off the bat, we see Inari Medical extracting large clots from large vessels without need of thrombolytics or ICU stay. Since 2000, more than 170 thrombectomy devices have been cleared by the FDA and nearly all of them have been designed for arterial system. The repurposing of these devices for venous clot is suboptimal due to clot morphology and vessel size, which is true. As a result, treatments include or rely exclusively upon thrombolytic drugs and their inherent bleeding risk. They go into a little more depth about how veins are low flow, low pressure, and arteries that are high flow and high pressure. Veins are usually larger, arteries are usually smaller. That's why they can't make a device for veins and arteries. It has to be different. Then they go on and talk about venous clots are firm and hard and adhere to the vessel wall, and arterial clots are a little different. They kind of float in the vessel and don't adhere as much. All right, so what products or services does Anari offer? Focusing on the critical vessels of venous disease, Anari has designed tools to treat both pulmonary embolism and deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. They believe that removing clot matters and it should be done safely. The flow retriever and clot retriever were designed as non-thrombolytic solutions to venous thromboembolism with that belief in mind. And yes, those are the two names of the two products they offer. One, the flow retriever, and two, the clot retriever. The clot retriever, I don't really care about as much because I've only used the flow retriever, but I'll get into the flow retriever first. Oh, but before I get into that, let's go ahead and mention that both devices have been FDA cleared for removal of emboli and thrombi from peripheral vasculature. Also, this is very, very, very important that the flow retriever was the first mechanical thrombectomy device awarded FDA indication for treatment for pulmonary embolism. This is huge, 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 but more on that later as well. So let's get into the flow retriever, shall we? So this is a large bore over the wire system designed to remove clot via mechanical and aspiration mechanisms, capture and remove large clot burden from big vessels, treat in a single session, eliminate need for thrombolytics, and also eliminate the ICU stay. Some of these are very important and I'll touch on them a bit later as well. So make sure you stay tuned until the end for this because a lot of this stuff is pretty important. I'll go ahead and play a little bit from this video so you get a sense and idea of how this system actually works and why it's so important. The Trever 20 features a highly trackable, large lumen catheter and large bore syringe designed to rapidly extract large volumes of clot while limiting blood loss. Upon gaining ultrasound guided venous access, a guide wire is advanced past the target clot in the pulmonary artery. With the dilator in place, the Trever 20 is advanced over the wire until it reaches the target clot. The dilator is removed and with the flush port stopcock closed, the syringe is pulled back and locked into place. Opening the stopcock releases the vacuum and creates a high flow, volume capped aspiration, minimizing blood loss while drawing clot through a continuous lumen into the syringe. So essentially we place a large 24 French catheter or eight millimeters in diameter, almost like the size of this pen if you can get a feel. So then using our x-ray machine or live x-ray, also known as fluoroscopy, we advance this large caliber tube 
into the right atrium of the heart, through the tricuspid valve of the right heart, into the right ventricle, and into the main pulmonary artery, and we can go to the left or right main pulmonary arteries from there. Like I said, we do this under x-ray guidance or fluoroscopy. And once we're in the right or left main pulmonary artery, we essentially just aspirate or pull back the 60cc syringe, which is a large bore 60cc syringe to match the 24 French uh, hole that the catheter has. We can essentially just suck out the clot from the pulmonary arteries. If some of the clot is difficult to remove, we can actually use the flow retriever device, but I probably only use this one time and it didn't really work that well. I'm more so in this for the actual suction thrombectomy through the large bore catheter because the ability to kind of track this large bore catheter into the pulmonary arteries and remove the PE is the essential part of an RE, in my opinion. So now let's talk about the clot retriever, which like I said, I've never actually used, but clot retriever is an over the wire system used to core clot from a vein wall can capture or remove large clot burden from a large vessel, treat in a single session, eliminate need for thrombolytics, and also eliminate ICU stay. If you wanna watch the video on this device, just go to the hinarimedical.com and go to Clot Retriever. You can watch the video as well. I'm not going to kind of get into that in the interest of time. But before I go any further, I wanna thank Policy Genius for sponsoring today's video. If you have a family with members that depend on your income, you pretty much need life insurance. It's that simple. So then why is buying life insurance so complicated? Well, it's no longer complicated because Policy Genius has reinvented this process from start to finish. You could save $1,300 or more per year by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance policies. Policy Genius is an insurance marketplace, not an insurance company. In minutes, you can work out how much coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. The best thing about Policy Genius is that it is easy to apply online. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Life insurance is actually way more affordable than you may think. I'll admit, I didn't know much about life insurance until I got married. Now I have a feeling of relief and comfort in the event something happens to me knowing that my wife will be taken care of. So do yourself a favor and check out Policy Genius. After all, you could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing life insurance quotes with Policy Genius. Visit policygenius.com slash Dr. Cellini to shop the market and start saving today. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so what do I think about Anari? Simply put, I think Inari is a complete game changer. The reason I say this is because I have personally used this device to treat pulmonary emboli on multiple occasions and it is phenomenal. Let's give a short clinical scenario as an example. So you have a 65 year old female coming to the ER with shortness of breath, chest pain, can't speak in full sentences without taking a breath and requiring large amounts of oxygen to keep their saturations up. You do a CT scan and show large pulmonary emboli. You don't have to be in medicine to know that this is a very common and serious situation in which immediate intervention is required. Otherwise, the outcome can be fatal. Now we have a device where we can essentially bring them to our IR suite, put the catheter through their heart into their pulmonary arteries, suck out all the clot in under an hour and immediately watch their oxygen requirements go down. That's incredible. We basically have a device to essentially reverse a PE if it happens. And let's not forget, the treatment for a pulmonary embolism, if they actually made it through the pulmonary embolism, used to be surgery until this device came along. Well, not this device, but suction thrombectomy devices. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't always have a 100% success rate as these patients can be very hemodynamically unstable and the smallest thing can disrupt them and set them over the edge. So you can imagine tracking a large bore catheter through the heart can do just that. However, a lot of times this may be the last resort for patients and most of the time, the benefits of doing the procedure outweigh the risks because if you don't do something, the patient may pass away. So let's talk about their competitors. Their main competitor is a company called Penumbra. They make a device very similar. However, it's essentially half the size and doesn't work as well. It's more maneuverable given its smaller size, but the actual aspiration is just not as powerful and in my experience doesn't work as well. I genuinely believe there is no device that can match the power of the Inari suction thrombectomy device. And I say that from someone who has used the device many times. For example, I'll even throw up a video clip of me using this device a couple months ago or so. More than the device itself, I wanted to touch on a few other points that were important and I mentioned them earlier. The first point I like to make is the treatment in a single session. This device literally requires only one session. You bring the patient in, you suck out the clot, 
that's it. In the past, we've had to bring the patients in, put up infusion catheters, put them in the ICU overnight as this clot-busting drug is infused directly into the pulmonary arteries, which has risks of bleeding throughout the body spontaneously. Then we would bring it back the next day and assess how well it worked. This is just a one and done treatment and it's a huge win for all parties involved. The second point I like to make and mention earlier is that you completely eliminate ICU stays. This is huge and here's why. Usually, like I said, after an open surgery or placing infusion catheters, the patient would have to stay in the ICU to monitor them at the higher level of care they need. Now a patient can have this procedure in under an hour sometimes and go straight to a step down or floor bed, not requiring ICU level of care. The reason is because the patient has such an immediate result after the procedure. Patients love this because they don't have to go in the ICU, which is expensive to them. And they also don't have to have clot busting medication run through their body, which can cause spontaneous bleeds in the abdomen or even brain. And hospitals love this even more because there are set bundled reimbursement codes for pulmonary embolism. These are bundled codes that average the cost of all pulmonary emboli in the past, which involves ICU stays, and pays the hospital a set reimbursement rate for those codes. The reason hospitals love it is because that reimbursement bundled payment relies on all-inclusive payment for PEs in the past, and nowadays, using this device, it may not require everything grouped into that cost. And I know that's kind of confusing, but I'll give you an example. So I'm just gonna make up you know, random numbers for an example here, but say for instance, a bundled payment for a hospital pays the hospital $60,000. That includes ICU level of care, maybe one or two multiple nights, I don't really know, but we're just using an example here. Since using this device does not require ICU level of care a lot of the times, it may only cost the hospital $20,000 for that PE instead of the usual average $60,000, which means the hospital collects an additional $40,000 and they didn't use the resources that require it. I hope this makes sense. Now you see why hospital administrators would love this device. Now it is pretty expensive, like $10,000 or so for this device each use, but if you're making $20,000 per use, then a $10,000 profit isn't half bad. All right, so now the moment you've all been waiting for, am I going to be investing in this company? I think you can tell by my strong feelings on this company that the answer is a resounding yes. In fact, I've been an investor for about seven months now, just after they IPO'd last May. When I first saw this product in action during the first few weeks of my interventional radiology fellowship, I literally went straight to Fidelity, found the Inari ticker symbol, and invested that day. That's how excited I was about the device. Currently, it's trading around $110 a share, but by the time this video comes out, I anticipate it's higher. Well, hopefully. Furthermore, pulmonary embolism research is still relatively new and ongoing, and this Inari device could become the gold standard for treatment of pulmonary embolisms going forward, so I'm actually pretty excited about the future for Inari. So on that note, that officially concludes this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Inari and if you're going to invest in Inari. If you're interested in a particular medical, biotech, or healthcare stock and want me to do a deep dive on it, let me know in the comments below as well. Otherwise, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I'll see you all on the next video.